All right guys, so today we are going to make the lid. Sorry, it's a mess right here and box. This is on page 14 of series one from the square. So what I have done here is I have traced out a six inch square, so six inches on each side. And then to make the box, you're gonna have that square and it says you can use any size square you want, but the lid needs to be one eighth of an inch bigger. So this is six inches and one eighth by six, in six inches and one eighth by six inches and one eighth by six inches and one eighth. And we will see if this actually works because last time I made the lid, it didn't fit very well. I mean, it kind of fit, but. So now I'm going to cut these out. Just going to write box and lid so I do not get them confused. You could use two different colors of paper if you wanted to not get them confused. Oops. Okay. So, for the box, we are now going to fold this square into 16 equal parts. So, what that means is we are going to take it, instead of doing the roller where they do that, we're just gonna fold it. So fold it in half this way. Now you have two equal parts. Now we're going to fold the top into the middle and the bottom into the middle. And now we have four equal parts, see that? And then we're going to take this and turn it so these are like popsicles and fold it this way. Now I have eight equal parts. And then we're gonna fold this part up here and this part up here. So now I have 16 equal parts. And now we're going to label these. So I'm going to do A, B, sometimes it's hard to see. C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. See that? And there's my thing that says box on it. And the book tells you what to do with each section. I'm trying to put my book here so I can see it without putting it in the camera. Okay, there we go. All right, so it wants you to cut between A and E, D and H, L and P, and I and M. See that? You can probably see now how our box is going to be compiled. It says to paste. I'm going to be using tape, but you can also use glue if you wish. You could even use staples, you know, whatever. So it says paste squares A and M inside the oblong E and I. So we're going to paste this inside here. Of course, I would take off too long of tape. So we're pasting A and M inside. Do the same on the other side. And there we have our cute little box. You can paint these. I let my children paint them or color them before we put them together. And now we're going to do our lid. We do the lid in the same way. We're going to fold this into 16 equal squares, exactly the same way that we did for the box. I think these would make really cute little gifts. You could have your kids fold a whole lot of them, put little candies inside.
thing is to make, you could even make the lid out of a less weight, weighted paper. That would be cool. Okay. So you're going to label this the same way. MNOP. It doesn't work. Why doesn't it work? Did I mess up my... messed up the lid in the box. So as you see here, my first lid did not work. So I have gone ahead and made another lid. Um, except for this one, I did not cut off the sides. We're gonna see this one I cut to a fourth of an inch larger instead of an eighth. We're gonna see if it works. I just, I couldn't leave the video that bad. I'm supposed to be doing what's right, like doing the best thing on here. It works, it works, it works, yay! Okay, so I would say you should make the lid a fourth of an inch bigger. Yeah. Oh, it works. I'm so excited. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Throwing this one away.